What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I know I'm starting the vlog a little bit late. You guys can see it's already kind of dark outside. Today we're here with Alpha as uh, per usual all our adventures include Alpha and we're all the way in uh, Niagara in Ontario if you guys didn't know that but we're in Niagara because we actually had a work event that we had to go to. Fun fact me and Alpha work at the same company. Who knew you know earlier today he was like bro we've been friends since grade three and who would who thought we would end up in the same company the same place at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out. Yeah, he's, never, out. <laughs> he's never gonna escape from me. But we're here in Niagara and uh, oh actually wait I want to show you guys one more thing. I won rookie of the year at my company. I don't know if you guys can see that or if there's glare. All right, one rookie of the year. All right, that's dope. Anyways, I just wanted to show off a little bit. But he only what, won that because they started voting when I wasn't there. That's also true. The voting did start before Alpha started. But it doesn't matter. A winner's a winner. Anyways, so we're here in Niagara and uh, we thought since we're in the area, you know, there's a cool locals here called the Toy Trove that I've heard a lot about. So I wanted to check it out and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. The problem is Alpha and I are currently having a pretty hard time finding this place. It doesn't help that it's nighttime. It's really um, dark. It's in like some weird yeah alleyway thingy i don't know where it's supposed to be we've been driving in circles we've literally been driving in circles for the last 10 minutes so we're gonna try to find it and then when we get there because i'm not leaving until we do find it it closes in half an hour so i actually want to get there as fast as possible and then i'm gonna bring you guys with us but then the night's not gonna end there because we're gonna head to untouchables our regular locals and then meet up with richard anyways okay we're gonna go find it and then uh we'll get back to you when we do eventually all right so me and alpha finally found it and the reason we were driving in circles we were in the right spot but it's downstairs and apparently their sign fell off yeah. So we have to go down there. And it's uh, right above a plunder club. There's literally a bird uh, sanctuary thingy here. Oh my god, all flute players. All right, let's walk in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so this place is actually pretty cool. They have a lot of tables set up. They have games, a lot of game stuff over here. More game stuff. I mean, you guys can see the Pokemon. That's really nice. What are the Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here? They have Pokemon cards and stuff as well. But their um, stash of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff is pretty cool. Uh, there's an Ulti first, Treeborn Frog. They got Ulti Dweller, Ghosts over there. I don't know if you guys can see it properly, but Alpha's taking a good look, so someone might be spending a little bit of money today. Yeah, it's going to be bad. But, yo, they have, some, they have some pretty nice stuff. They have some pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. First time here, and uh, I might be spending a little bit more than I expected to. Soon after... Alpha's really upset right now. I'll tell you guys in the car, but he's actually mad. Okay, no, don't do that. Let's get in the car. Let's get in the car. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. That store had some really cool stuff. Like, okay. Like, I don't know what it was. That that store did have some really nice stuff, but um, Alpha can say it here first. The bro. Wait. Can they see you? No, it's too bad. Okay. That place had some really cool stuff. It was just way overpriced. Like, I don't I don't ever talk. And you guys have seen me in my vlogs where me and Alpha go adventuring to different stores. Sometimes they have stuff. Sometimes they don't. That's always just like up to luck, you know, what they get in the store versus what like people trade in, what they pull from their cases, whatever. But um, this place had a lot of good stuff, um, but overpriced a lot of it. Hmm. Like, really overpriced. And Alpha's mad. Here, you know what? You can vlog. Tell them the story. <laughs> so, what happened was, I found a near mint. Like, when I say near mint, I took a look at it, and I'm like, you could probably send this off to get graded. It was that good. Very near mint. First Ed, Cyber Dark Dragon, Ulti. And for the people who don't know, I'm big into misprints. And this one had a really hefty foil shift. It looked very nice. Like very clean. No ulti imprint. You know how ultis, I don't know if anyone of you guys know this, but if you guys ever buy an ultimate rare, uh, because they print it so hard, there's usually an imprint on the back. It didn't even have that imprint. It was very nice. The uh, the price they were asking for was just a little bit too high. Not even a little bit too high. Stop lying to it was, them. It was quite high. It was a lot of bit too high. Um, I just couldn't bring myself to like grab it, even though it's probably like a once in a... It's a once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime thing to see it, but can't really pay an arm and a leg for something like that, so... Yeah, it's tough. I'm upset. Like, okay, give, give me this, give me this. Let me, let me give them context. Okay, for context, guys, I bought an ulti for a Cyber, end, uh, Cyber Dark Dragon, I mean, I should say, uh, first edition. It wasn't like near mint, so obviously it wasn't as good as this one, but I paid 350 for it. For them to be asking, can I just tell them what they're asking? They're asking 800 They were asking $795 for it, which is like kind of crazy. Mine's not like moderately played. Like, it's not bad. Mine's like lightly played, and I know that does affect the price, don't get me wrong, but to go from 350 it was more than double. To like 800 is huge. I was ready to pay just like a little bit less than double than what he paid. Like He I, wanted to pay 550. I could I was willing to go up to like 550, which is like, you know, just about whatever. 
But yeah, that was a, a good chunk more than double, you know? <laughs> I feel bad. He's genuinely upset. You could actually tell. Yeah, you guys probably can't tell on the camera because the quality is bad. It's dark and whatnot. But uh, yeah, he was genuinely sad about that. The darkness hides my tears. Oh, well. Anyways, we're going to head to Untouched now and then end off our day there. See if we can pick up anything. See what the boys are saying. We're not playing in locals or anything. We're just adventuring around. And I always like to vlog these adventures. I like bringing you guys with us. So uh, with that being said, we got like a 45, 50 minute drive to go back home. So let's go back home. You know what I forgot to do? Oh, yes. Finish the vlog uh, that we started. Which is here. <laughs> Ray Han. Chamberlain. Oh. All right, good enough. So we're on touch, obviously. And uh, I honestly don't even know what I'm going to show you guys. So from here on out, the rest of the video is going to be either a showcase or just the guys making jokes. Or, I don't know, bro. This is kind of a little adventure. I just want to take you guys on. We're doing some... What are you guys doing? 12. 12? Yeah. We have around four then. Uh, I, actually, I have no idea, man. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's been a long day. Everyone's yelling in my ear. I don't know if you guys can even hear me at this point. Oh, apparently round four is up. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's no plans for today. I literally just wanted to do a quick little vlog because we were checking out a new store. Fortunately, that store, they did have some cool stuff. Kind of disappointed. Um, I'm going to be honest. I do want to spend money. I just don't know what I'm going to spend my money on. And I don't know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail of this video. I will find out. All right, guys. Let me know in the comment section. I'm not going to buy it right now, but if you think I should buy this Starlight, uh, let me... Right. Trent, what are you doing? Two of them are. Listen, if you guys think I should buy this, let me know in the comment section. I might buy it. I kind of want it. It's kind of affordable. Jordan, you think I should buy it? Yeah. Of course you do. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. This guy's beautiful. Guys, we're home. This was kind of a mid... Why did the light turn off? All right, this vlog was kind of lame, um, but it's time to say goodbye to Alpha. Not lame. Not lame. Andrew's going home with the cojones. That's really annoying in my ear. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this today was a fun day. I know the vlog is a little bit shorter, but I wanted just to put it out there just because I got to show you guys like at least the new store. If you guys are ever in St. Catharines, I guess you guys could check out the Toy Trove. Uh, but like I said, the prices are a little bit high. They do got some good stuff. Their inventory is nice. It's just a little bit, uh, a little bit overpriced. We would say, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking too. So anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I uh, actually was filming some shorts at Untouchables just before we end off. We were filming some shorts. I'm going to be doing a ton of shorts starting in February. So make sure you guys are excited for that. I already paid my editor and it's a lot of money. So I have to actually kind of go hard with these. But I hope you guys enjoy them. All right, with that, Svenko and Alpha. Oh, like and subscribe. Uh, check out Alpha's channel. Like and subscribe to Alpha's channel as well. He just hit a thousand subscribers and then he decided not to upload content anymore. But it's what you want to see on the channel. All right, there you go. All right, thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spanko and Alpha, sign it out. Peace. Oh, there you go.